I want you to come on in here and take a look at a property I just sold for one of our clients. It's at 1663 George Johnson Road, right here in Minnesing, the heart of Minnesing, beautiful Minnesing. Come on in. I think what's really important here, first and foremost, is to take a look at how the folks that we just ended up selling this property for have integrated, intertwined a uh, contemporary look with the traditional look. But what's cool here is that they've had this in, oh, I, I better stop. So let me tell you, this building was once the fire hall for Minnesing. Uh, it had two bays for two fire trucks, but over the years it got sold to private individuals. I think the neighbor to the north owned it at one time and had a workshop in here and did all sorts of stuff, but it did not look, didn't resemble this whatsoever. So now my clients came in and they did a complete revamp of all of these beautiful features to bring it to what it is today. If you take a look at the beautiful use of glass, whether it's up top or the glass doors here, you look over here, then it merges right into the old reclaimed brick look as well as the floor. This floor, I'm sure it's been through a gajillion footsteps on this over the years, man. But look how nice it looks. They have gone and refinished the floors, sanded it down, brought it back up, and it looks fantastic. What's really important here, in my opinion anyhow, is to look at how they've integrated the sleek cement look for the fireplace and how that ties into the traditional look to the left of having the live edge wood shelving. I think it's just a beautiful blend. So they kept this front area open. I'm 6'5", and take a look. Actually, I'm, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> I'm actually 5'4 and 3 quarters. I know you wouldn't know that, but listen, this is a soaring ceiling, right? It's fantastic, in my opinion. And what they've done with utilizing the uh, windows and the glass and the doors all around just gives it that very upscale, upbeat look. And as far as I'm concerned, this open area could actually turn into a fourth office if necessary, right? You can just put a wall across here. There's a separate side entrance. You got the big screen in case you're slacking off in the middle of the day. They have a little a bit of a dry kitchen area. What I find interesting is how they've designed the office space. You wanna come in? Yes. Yeah, man, come. So it has a double door entry. And of course, if you're too lazy to walk around into the hallway to go down or across to your colleague's office, they also have this. But before we go over there, Winston, what I wanna do is I wanna show off the shiplap, which is a really, really impressive, trendy look these days and they, they're beautiful accent walls. What I want you to do is now come on over with me over here, take a look at this additional office. As you can see, they have built-in furniture here. They also have shiplap once again. And as well, I wanna point out the use of fixed windows or glass that kind of introduce that open area that we were talking about earlier the height of the ceilings, they've introduced pot lights throughout with very cool uh, lighting fixtures as well. This is probably my most favorite part of the house. This door system, look at the size of that, look at the height of that, man. It also opens on those rollers up there, like a barn door, which you can have storage and, you know, the furnace is back in there and all that, and it has a light sensor. And then it allows you, of course, to have some storage area that's all covered in by having this door pull. But it is really, to me, super impressive. So come on over here, man. This is the third office. Remember I said there could be a fourth up at the front, but this is a third office and it has a door. If you're a smoker, which you shouldn't be, you can head out there for your little puff puff. And, uh, you yeah, know. It's just like to have your lunch at nature. Winston, I like the way you're thinking, man. That's much better than, I don't know where I came up with that smoking business, but thank you for that, appreciate it. Yeah, I want you to come with me here and take a look at this bathroom, which I think they've done a fantastic job here as well. You know what I noticed? I say the word fantastic a lot. It's fantastic. <laughs> That's right. So look at what they've done here with the old uh, 
barn board wood. They've created a nice little closet area here. Again, they've integrated old with modern, the herringbone. It's got the faucet coming out of the uh, wall. It's got this beautiful cement looking basin and as well, of course, a toilet. But uh, very, very stylish. The folks who redeveloped this, if you will, or renovated it, have impeccable taste. Winston, I just wanted to say thanks, man, for coming along on this little journey with me today. And uh, I, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of joy in terms of showing it and hopefully you enjoyed the process of seeing it and filming it. And for all of those that of you that joined in on our little excursion today, I'm glad you did. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, at the end of the day, we're here to help. So if you need any assistance in selling your property, be sure to give us a call anytime. We're here to help, not hound. Take good care and bye for now.